Which actor actress do you absolutely despise, no matter their role? James Corden. First time I saw him in anything was Doctor Who. He was okay in that. Nothing since then though, face with tears of joy. Gwyneth Paltrow. So you don't want goop for Christmas? Amber Heard. Johnny Depp enters the chat. Bruce Willis and I have a signed picture of his. My uncle owned a bar with him and I. Bruce actually fucked him over after many years of friendship where he's already loaded. Barry Wineco? What's his name? That old dude looks like Dor. Steven Seagal. He acts like a Dor too. My German teacher really fucking hates Nicolas Cage for some reason. When I asked him why, he just said I hate his voice and his face and the way he acts and refused to elaborate further, man shrugging. I feel like that was fairly concise. Andy Dick. Lena Dunham. John Travolta and his weird Scientology views. Weird Scientology views. AKA Scientology views. Bella Thorne. Is it because her name sounds like if you let Q 12 year old angsty girl name the lead character in a novel? Tom Cruise. Scientology is a fucked up criminal cult and his association with them makes him unbearable. There are unfortunately other celebrities in his position. But he's the one that stands out to me. He's still in probably for two reasons. One. They've recorded a conversation where he confesses to something illegal so using it for blackmail and. Two. He's treated like a god in that religion. Without him it wouldn't really exist how it does so he has his own personal minions. We're all thinking it. Amy Schumer. Kevin Hart. He's not funny. His angry black man routine has been done so much. It's incorporated into every character he plays. If he's not yelling about being black he's yelling about being short. Kevin Hart is boring and unfunny. The fact James Corden has a show still astounds me he's just not funny. I'm mad he took Craig Ferguson's spot. Craig helped me get through my depressive episodes while I was in college. Mark Wahlberg. He's fucking Sully in Uncharted. Good for and where the hell is Sully's mustache? Terry Hatcher. Look I am sure she is lovely and all but I cannot tolerate her. It's to the point that I would flip the channel if she is on. Or skip the pages so I don't have to read about her. I think it's because she used to play Lois Lane and her role was so grating. My husband's uncle was a limo driver in Latherson time. And once picked up Terry Hatcher from the airport. Apparently she immediately put the privacy divider up and kept it up for the duration of the ride, not unusual. When they arrived at her destination, she told him his tip was in the back seat. She had brought into the limo a massive order of nachos which had gotten everywhere. With about a third left over in the container. There was no money or anything else she may have been referring to when she referenced the tip. Jared Leto. This applies to both film and music. Kristen Stewart. Her twitchy uneasiness comes through in every performance. I know she's been receiving a lot of praise for her role as Princess Diana. But you can see all her tics in the trailer. She just unnerves me. Right? She always seems so aloof and unnerved. Nothing wrong with that. But it amazes me how casting directors saw her fit to play one of the most warm and charming public figures like Princess Diana. Sure. The stills look adequate but I can't imagine how unimpressive she is going to be in that role. Plus on an unrelated note. She can't keep her mouth closed and that annoys me. I've always disliked Kevin Spacey. He always gave me weirdo vibes even before his downfall. He had this arrogance about him that I couldn't get over. His character in Horrible Bosses was literally just him playing himself Lemu. TJ Miller. He always manages to be the least charismatic character in anything he's a part of. Yet continues to be cast as the comic relief anyway. He was good as the bar guy in Deadpool cause that character was supposed to be the tries to be funny but fails type. Steven Seagal. He's highly trained in the art of bullshito. Alison Mack. I've only ever seen her in Smallville. The Kardashians. Did you mean the Kardashians? They're both omnipresent leather skin tyrants bent on galactic domination so. It's hard to tell them apart. We'll never watch another Tom Cruise film. What about Tropic Thunder? Not primarily an actor but Quentin Tarantino when he casts himself. I really like most of his movies but cringe when he puts himself into those little roles. 
He is a terrible actor and so often tries to portray himself as a badass. As a person. I think he is pretentious. If he is like his public persona. I'm pretty sure he and I would not get along. But as I said earlier. He does make good movies. He killed it in From Dusk Till Dawn. He was almost too good at playing a dirtbag rapist. James. Fucking. Corden. Will Ferrell. Nothing against the dude. I'm sure he's cool f. But his brand of comedy isn't really funny to me. Running around screaming incoherently in his underwear just never seemed funny to me. In all fairness. Most of my bias comes from hearing a person I didn't like say he was their favorite comedian and that my choice, Leslie Nielsen, was crap. Ruby Rose. She can't act for shit. My mom hates Leonardo DiCaprio. She went to school with him and he was a dick. That is all I will say.